What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're talking about our PCSX and the cool little thing that I did to make it easy for everyone using someone's script called Daydreamer. As you can see, when I just pop this up, it shows the games that's currently found and we're able to basically run out of these with a simple click. So if I wanted to run Sonic, I could do so by pressing, typing 19. and Sonic runs. As you heard, we have audio now. Uh, it doesn't work on every game. It only works on ones with single channel audio. So uh, that could cause crashes if it doesn't have it, but it's there. So how do we do this? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the original script because I wanna show you the setup on how to do this, okay? Because you're gonna need the original to do this. And it goes like this. So, our PCS and we're going to do dot run and we're going to delete our config like this and it's gone and we're going to set up the setup process and to do this we're going to switch sides like that and I want to make this nice and big so you guys can read it okay then we're going to pop this one over here like that and first it's going to ask us for our location of our compiled version of our PCSX I'm gonna go to build, it's the wrong one. I wanna use the gamepad version, which is right here. There's a PR open right now for gamepads. And we're gonna copy location. We're gonna paste the location, hit enter. Hit enter again, our games directory. I have mine here set up on a separate drive because honestly, it's smart to do, missing opera end here. <laughs> Do that right. You're going to hit no to this because it doesn't need to be done anymore. And we're going to hit enter. We're going to select our firmwares. Now, the only firmware that is supported right now is 5.05. .05. So remember that. You're going to need that. You're going to hit enter. Yes. And then we're going to copy this. And we're going to hit paste. Yes, I am sure. Done. Now, what I did to get here. Well, first thing I had to do was to convert this into a binary. And I did that by installing a program, if I can find it, because I had to go through hell just now to get a program to work. Where are you, my friend? Aha! I used a program called SHC. So it takes a script, turns it into a binary. Okay? Then I took that binary and I moved it into user slash bin. And that's in the root of all things. So if we go here, user bin, it's in here to make it universally accessible. So if I went and I typed, if I could type like this, it would pop up. Okay. That's how I got this to work. Next, I had to create a desktop which allows you to run things from say this location if you need to or from a dock whatever you want to do and I built that inside of share applications and it's right here so this is important this needs to be at the top and as you can see I'm targeting the program the binary I'm game files or, you know, game list that keeps vsync on, that makes Mango HUD, and that makes audio and has to be in that order or else it does not work. I also added my own icon. As you can see, it looks fantastic. Yeah. And that's it. All of this will be in the description below on how to do this, okay? So, once all of that's done, there's also an alternative path you can put the dot bin, by the way. And I need to say this because there's a lot of Linux enthusiasts out there that will shit the bed if I don't. So it can also be placed in here. So let's run a game. And it's going to have to be Sonic Mania because uh, that is currently the only one that tends to run perfectly. And again, 19. It's going to boot up. Sega. We have audio. And we have gamepad support. Now, I've had to record this twice because 
I was using an outdated version of OBS that didn't have 24-bit PCM audio. So I couldn't edit this and render this because if I did, there'd be no audio because Resolve is very, how do I say this, pay to win. So we are using a gamepad. I'm using my uh, PS5 controller. PS4 does work, of course. Xbox works, all of them, including with Bluetooth, okay? We're running at a solid 60 FPS, and I have my GPU settings cranked for recording, so this should look crystal clear, 1440p. Oh yeah, I love this song. So, it's like, played the first Sonic game when I was literally right when it came out as a kid. And now, here we are again, Sonic Mania, and it's just like when I was a kid, except for this crap, whatever they're doing here. So, you can hear audio. Oh, come on, get down. Thank you. So all we're going to do is get to the end. If Tails could ever stop dying. And there's another game that now boots up, by the way. We're not going to get that little swirly thing. And the other game that boots up is now Dead Cells. And uh, it does boot, but it's got infinite loading. go this way. Oh, check that out. We just got a one-up. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what was that? Another one-up. Get out of here before that whacks me in the head. Go down. Up. Through there. And we are almost to the end. Nope, we're not doing this again. I'm going to beat this dude with superpowers. Oh, that is the first time it's ever frozen. Okay. Wow. What happened? All right. So it crashed and it took out OBS. I think it was something to do with the GPU. I don't know. Uh, it is a very work in progress emulator. You guys got to remember that. Um, but thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to check the links in the description below. You'll find the script. You'll find how to turn it into a binary, how to turn it into a dot desktop, and get everything running like I did. I will not be linking the firmware or any games or anything like that, so don't expect to find those. You'll have to find those on your own. And um, thank you to Daydreamer for creating this script. Uh, I'm going to link the Discord. You'll be able to find it pinned in the help channel as well. You can grab it from there. And yeah, start testing out some games. I haven't tested out very many, but... The ones I did test out, I do want to show you that uh, Dead Cells works. So that would be three. And as you can see, it boots up, but it infinitely loads. And that sucks. I, it gets stuck on some system services or something. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. More content on this emulator come. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.